Hello friends, this video on solid states part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Correct. The next is amorphous. See amorphous itself, it came from the Greek word amorphous. That is no form. That is the origin of this word. It's a Greek, Greek letter, Greek word, amorphous. Right? So it consists of particles of irregular shape. For example, if you see there is no pattern, there is no fixed pattern. These all constant particles are haphazard. The irregular shape. Right? So here the arrangement of the arrangement of the constituent particles, again, the constituent particles, I mean atoms, molecules, and ions. This is only short range only. You see. Actually, there is no order. And even if it's there in some case, it's very, very short range, maybe 50, 60, 100 uh, uh, pattern, that's all. Correct? So, if, that's all. In this case, I am not seeing any uh, uh, regular arrangement, but sometimes we do have uh, some arrangement, regular arrangement or regular periodic arrangement, but this pattern is only for short distance. And these structure of these amorphous solids is similar to liquids. They are called solids, but their structure is similar to liquids. Correct. The example can be glass, rubber, and plastic. So you see, this is my glass, rubber, and plastic. These are a good example of amorphous because they soften over a period of temperature. And thus they can be molded and blown into various shape because the way if you see the glass is prepared, you melt the glass, you get the glass balls and then you blow and then you get this kind of shapes. If you, if you just burn plastic also, you will see that it melts. You try, you take small plastic and try to burn with a candle or uh, this punch and burner, you will see that it melts. Right? So if you See, these amorphous, they melt. We will do one experiment for that. And if you see, as I told they are liquids, one good example is that if you see this old window panes. So if you see this window panes, old building planes, you'll see the width is a little different. This is the top, this is the bottom. It is more wide from the bottom, so these windows, they are more wide from the bottom. Why? Why? Because this window is made of glass and glass is amorphous and amorphous behaves like a liquid. Right? So since they are liquid, they have tendency to flow. And they are also called super cool liquid. That's right. Super cool liquid. Right? So you see, that's why this glass panes fixed to these windows, the old ones, they are slightly thicker at the bottom because the glass flows, the glass flows and it becomes more thicker at the bottom. Correct. So the other examples of glass can be, uh, the amorphous can be this all glass substance from the starting from the bulb to the test tube, the glass jar, mirror, the bottles, even the windows glass, if you see this building has all these window glasses, right? All these are my examples of amorphous. Even if you see a very, very old uh, glass that will have milky, it will be milky. Why? Because they crystallize. This is again a different property. If you see a very old glass, they crystallize. Very old, I mean, maybe 1000 euros, right? 500 years old. So these ob this glass objects from the ancient civilization, they are a little milky because of the crystallization. Because the crystallization happens and they change the color from the normal transparent uh, look to the milky one. Right? And this is called glass transition. When you heat the glass below melting point, some of the amorphous crystallines right so this is called what glass transition I like it here
Correct. I'll repeat the definition once again. So when you heat this glass below melting point, some of the amorphous pattern they crystalline at some temperature. This temperature is different for different kinds of glass or different kinds of amorphous uh, substance. And that's why this glass from the ancient simulation is little milky. Correct. And these amorphous substance, they have short range crystal particles. So at some temperature, at some temperature, these short range also crystallize to long range particles. That's called crystallization. So this is milky because of the long range particles, long range uh, arrangement. This is crystalline actually, little partial crystalline. So, so what I'm trying to uh, draw from this conversation of the milky glass or the old uh, civilization milky glass is from amorphous to crystallization also, uh, from amorphous to crystalline, this phase also happens. And this is called glass transition, right? From A to C. Amorphous to crystalline, slowly. Okay. So, as I've discussed this uh, thing that it heats or it softens over a range of temperature. For example, this one, in the earlier case, in the case of crystalline, you heat this in a particular X temperature, it was all melting. But this is not the case. If you heat this, gradually it will melt little bit, little bit, little bit. And we see from this X to Y temperature range, it will melt. Right? It will melt gradually from X to Y temperature range. Right? They have different temperatures. Also, when you cool it now, when you cool it now, you will see in the case of crystalline, this was the graph we got. There was some temperature, uh, some time where there was no change in temperature. But here, if you see, this is the kind of graph you will get. Right? So, the, the graph you get is different. The temperature and the time graph. Right? It is different. Also, one thing to be noticed, uh, in case of crystalline, it was anisotropic. But it is isotropic. It is isotropic. Because it is all haphazard, right? So, if you take from this direction, this direction, this direction, you don't know what will come. It's all haphazard, actually. It's all haphazard. Correct? There is no regular fixed arrangement. So, that's why you take from any direction you see or you get almost similar uh, physical properties like electrical conductivity or refractive index. Correct? Since there is no long range order, it's all haphazard, it's all irregular in all direction. So the, all, all the physical property, most of the physical property or all the physical property will be same you take any direction. Correct? One thing I want to clarify is just by looking at the solid, just by a previous example, given you, you get, you see this particular object, just by looking at this, you can't distinguish between crystalline and amorphous. Please note, just by looking at solid, just by the external appearance, it's very, very hard to distinguish between crystalline and amorphous, right? So they are distinguished, and how they are distinguished? They are distinguished from one another primarily by the degree of order exhibited by the arrangement of the fundamental particles, the constituent particles, that is, uh, atoms, molecules, or ions. So, it's more by the arrangement, right? For that, you need some high techniques, maybe X-ray diffraction techniques, right, to understand the actual uh, arrangement. Correct. But by some properties, the properties which we have discussed, the cooling property and uh, the heating properties, we can guess, but the actual conclusion will come from the X-ray diffraction technique only. Also, as I discussed, the nature favors crystalline. Correct? But, when the atoms are not given enough opportunity to rearrange themselves, for example, if the temperature of the liquid drops suddenly and it solidifies, so in that case, the motion of the atoms before uh, they rearrange themselves is very restricted because they don't get enough time to rearrange. Correct. So in that case, amorphous materials are also found in nature. I told crystalline is something which nature favors. But the reason why crystalline things happen is because nature in nature things happen generally. Generally in nature, if you see the formation of 
coal or diamond it happens over a period of years like right? hundreds of thousands of years so uh, the substance get enough time to you know, rearrange itself in the crystals sometimes i'll, I'll talk you to the some scenarios where uh, the temperature drops suddenly and the liquid solidifies abruptly for example during volcano right the lava that comes out this is a volcano uh, the volcano and from this volcano and this lava or this lava that comes out the moment it comes out the temperature drops suddenly because in the air here the temperature was very very high it comes out the atmosphere temperature is very less and it solidifies right it solidifies immediately so in that case this amorphous uh, this materials from this all this volcanic eruption they are generally amorphous correct so nature favors crystalline but in some case like volcanic eruption you see the natural materials being amorphous thank you visit examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online tests get free study materials find tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again